No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. Hey, what's up? I'm Ryan with No Film School, and we're here with Carter from Digital Sputnik. I, I didn't say the name right, but they make lights. They have some interesting things to show us. Uh, what are you guys showing at the show? Yeah, we have now a new light, uh, which is called DS1, based on the same modular system, which we have used for DS3 and DS6, which have been used in uh, high-budget uh, feature films, and now we want to bring the same technology to the masses, uh, having a single unit. And we're also introducing new software where you can actually control our lights over Artnet and DMX. Uh, so you can do a lot of things that DMX port can do now using only your phone. Uh. And these are LED-based yes. lights. They have uh, color controls. Yes, RGB white LEDs. You have color controls from 1500 Kelvin all the way to 10,000 Kelvin. And you can mix in any primary or secondary color. So basically what we've done is we've taken the colorist tool set and we put this into lights now. So you can literally start painting with light. You don't need to do that much post-processing anymore. You can actually be in a more visual world where you can already see on the set what the final image is going to look like. And we find that the cinematographers really like that because they're control freaks. So if they can achieve the look that they desire on the set, this is a lot better than doing it in post-production. And they can use an app to do that, right? Yes. So, so let's, uh, let's come around and check out the application. It's very simple. First we have intensity, which changes the intensity of light. Then we have a Kelvin temperature. We can start off from 1500, which is candlelight move all the way up to 10,000, which is kind of cool moonlight. Then you can pick your base, for example, day, sorry, for example, daylight. And then you can mix in any primary or secondary color you want. Uh, so this way you can now paint with light. Uh, and once you're happy with this, you can press OK, and there's other fixtures here which you can manage. Uh, so you name your fixtures, they show up here, and then you can just do this. You can also save scenes, load scenes, manage things. So we can load scene that we had before here. It's default and now we can load it goes back to white. And right now it's at 50%. We can also go a little bit higher, 100%. We have a six frame behind us, which is made out of six single units, basically. So the light module is the same, uh, but it's scaled bigger. So this has been popular. This was now the main lighting tool actually for Star Wars Rogue One. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about that. Are they are they being used as practicals in the movie? Like, what is the use for these in in uh, the, the next Star Wars installment? Due to our unique color science, uh, our lights was were selected to be the main lighting tool for Star Wars Rogue One. The main lighting tool. The main lighting tool. Uh, so all the talent is lit by this, uh, and most of the sets are lit by this. Uh. And they're shooting that on film? They're shooting it on RE65, and they already finished shooting in December. They were shooting it 2015 from August to December in London. So you can attach them together. Basically, the, the light module is the same for all the systems. It's, the question is the power, so we have different power supplies. DS1 can supply one light module, at DS3, three, and DS6, six light modules. This, since we use RGB at full output, we have a new color science to create white light. We get a low CRI value, but the image quality is actually higher than with a high CRI light. Our lights are calibrated towards cameras, especially CMO sensors. So it's, it's more about the spikes than it is about, or lack thereof? It's about matching up the RGB peaks with the camera sensitivity peaks. So using our light, the camera actually gets more chromatic uh, color information than hmm. it would get with a regular LED light. Hmm. And how about uh, dimmability of, of yes. the light? From 0 to 100, we don't use PVM for dimming, we use current control. So there is no flicker at any frame rate, uh, at any color, at any, uh, any uh, dimming range, basically. So speaking of, of flicker, uh, how about for a high speed? Yes, so there is no flicker. You can shoot any frame rate you want. What is the availability and price point of, of the new unit and, and the existing ones? So the new unit is going to be available in a few months. The price point is going to be about $2,500. Uh, the DS3 with three light heads is about uh, $8,000. And the DS6 is uh, about $13,500. And uh, are you also at rental houses for people to rent in, in here in North America? Yes, we have them available at Off Hollywood in New York uh, and MBS in Atlanta and LA. We also have them in London at MBS. Uh. And what is the uh, Digital Sputnik website for people to go and find out more? DigitalSputnik.com Easy enough. Uh, that is the Digital Sputnik lighting offerings here at NAB 2016. Thank you. Thank you.